Hey there YouTuber, welcome to the video. Old Man Jim coming back at you. Well, I got test number two going here. And uh, say to least people, I'm not really thrilled, okay? Uh, not that it doesn't work, it does work, but you're not getting much from it. Uh, and this test, by the way, in case you don't recall what it was all about, it was about making an independent heater using the exhaust pipe alone and keeping the uh, heater independent from it. That way we can maximize whatever we get from the heater uh, and pick up additional heat this way. Okay, so what we got, we got about seven foot of, uh, of duck run here, and uh, that's quite a distance. Uh, <laughs> also, I want to point out another thing too that I never pointed out in the other video, was I have a 90, well it's not 90, it's probably about an 85 degree elbow here, and that's a point of resistance at that point, and unfortunately it's not a good, at a good place, okay? because it's at the weakest part of the airflow because the air has to come all the way through and by that time it's, you know, it's losing its force and then now it has to bend and come out, you know? Not that it don't come out, but there's restriction right there, okay? Uh, so, I did try to set up my little gizmo, okay? And as you can see, it's no longer on the pipe and I did use my little fan, okay, and as you can see, I'm not using it no more. And I'm going to tell you what happened with this, okay. It will push the air through, uh, and air will come out of here, okay. But uh, I think I can uh, push wind out of my mouth a little harder than I was getting from that, okay. Uh, I would have to get a better DC fan than this one I have here. So, I happen to remember I had a hair dryer that has a kill switch on it, okay? And that kill switch, what it does is it deactivates the heater in there and just blows cool air through it. So, that's what I'm using. That's what I got hooked up right there, okay? But that damn thing is loud, okay? You're not going to want to put something like this uh, in a system like this to operate it because that noise will annoy the shit out of you. Pardon the English there. Uh, and I have a good tolerance to noise, but that thing would annoy me. Uh, and we're going to be turning it on shortly. So what I'm going to do, people, I'm going to take a temperature right here, right now, before your eyes. And we're going to get a temperature reading off this thing. And hold on, before I do that, temperature in the room right now is 70 degrees. So we're pretty high here today, okay? But, so, we'll get a reading off of this. And this is pushing... We're at about 130, going to 140, and it's still moving pretty good. 150, we're now at 160, slowing down. We're coming to 170, getting even slower. And we're headed for 180, but it's crawling to get there, okay. 180, okay, come on now, let's do what you're going to do here, you're going to stop and keep moving, alright people, I'm going to call it a stop at this point, okay, because it looks like it will go up a little higher, we might get up to 185, but it's going to take a little bit to get there, so I don't want to waste time here, so let's call it 185, let's give it the 5 degrees and say 185, okay, so that's what I'm getting off the heater, with a short run of duck, okay, with some resistance in it, and we're at a level one, okay. Now, what about the uh, independent heater? So, on this pipe, this pipe is hot, okay. Uh, if I had a guess at the temperature, I can hold it, I'd say probably about 120, 130 maybe, and that's, you know, being generous, all right. So, we are picking up some radiant heat off this pipe right now. Which is good, you know, that's good. That's going to help heat this room, okay? Now what I'm going to do, people, is I'm going to take my meat thermometer and I'm going to stick it in a hole here down at this end. And then after I get that done, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put that hair dryer on at a low setting. And we're going to see what we get uh, uh, for a temperature here. And I'll bring you over so you can see it for yourself, okay? But again, I'm not really pleased, okay? So, let me get this in here. 
so it's sitting so we can read it okay now what I'm going to do people I'm going to get camera in hand because I'm going to walk right over there as quickly as possible and uh, first I want to show you we are at heat setting one okay and there's the tape that's holding my depressor down so you know that the heat on this uh, oh I'm sorry my apologies for that you see that tape right there that's holding the button that kills the heater so now all I got to do is turn this on and I'm going to put it on a low setting first okay and you can hear the noise that's making now let's get over here and watch this thermometer so you see we are getting uh, pretty good heat out of this you can see it's still climbing we're getting to 120 We're going to get to about 125. That's where it's going to stop. And then what's going to happen, it's at about 124 right now. There it is, about 125 now. Now what's going to happen is it's going to start going down. So I'm going to hold here until it starts declining. Which shouldn't take long. There you go, there goes the descent now. You can see it moving toward the 120. And what's going to happen, it's going to go down to about, oh, 115. And it will hold about there, okay? So you can see now we're back down to 120. And I'm going to pull the camera away because that, you know, that shows what I needed it to show, that there's going to be a decrease uh, in the temperature as that exhaust pipe starts pulling in there. Okay, so I'm going to pull this away, and I'm going to turn that uh, heater back off. I said heater, I meant uh, hair dryer, okay? But anyway, so you can see what was happening there, people, okay? We got it up to about 125, and as time passed, it started a decline, which, you know, <laughs> stands to reason, okay? Now, the other thing uh, is, if I went over there right now and turned that temperature up on that heater to full capacity, we get about 140 degrees coming out of that end, okay? But uh, my goal is to run this at level 1 and get the most out of it, not level 6. But again, if you turn that, that heater up uh, and run it at a level 6, which is full capacity, that air coming out of this uh, duct down here, running that hair dryer at a low speed, comes out at 140 and holds at just about 140. Again, the reason for that, people, is very simply, simple to understand. That combustion chamber is, uh, at that point, bur uh, burning at maximum capacity. Uh, that exhaust is going to get a lot hotter, okay? And that's why we're going to get that temperature increase, and that's why it's going to hold. Uh, the fact of the matter is I can turn the hair dryer up to full capacity and push more air through the duct when it's on level 6, and I did a test on that. Uh, and it will drop down some at uh, full, put, pushing the maximum amount of air that the uh, hair dryer is capable of pushing. And I also want to add to the fact that that hair dryer pushes some air, okay? Uh, it's a very strong blowing system in there, a fan in there. So, uh, my personal opinion is this, people. Uh, with everything I've, I've checked out so far, this system will work. It will help heat the air, okay? However, there's too much of a sacrifice here, uh, as opposed to the first test that I did. Because if you recall in the first test, we were getting 202 degrees out of the duct. And then we had a 150-degree uh, duct temperature somewhere around there. With the ex and this is with the exhaust pipe going through, people. So we had 150 degrees of uh, radiant heat coming into the room. Okay, and now what we're getting uh, is about 140 over here. So you can see the sacrifice that we're making here. I don't think it's really worth it. However, if I were to continue with this idea and say, okay, well, I'm going to set it up. This is what I would do. I'd get myself a DC fan, at least uh, 3 amps, which would be equivalent to the uh, uh, hair dryer that I have here. Uh, 
fan was and the Q, uh, how much air that little fan would move, okay? And that would be a 12 volt DC, somewhere around 3 amps, okay? And then I buy myself a, a dimmer switch or a reducer, okay? Uh, so I can control the speed of the air coming out of the fan. That way, if I want to run it on high, I can just go over to the fan and push, the, uh, push more air into the system. Uh, if I wanted to run it at low, I would decrease the fan air and push less air through the system. Now, another good thing would be to get it set up, the, the uh, fan set up on a timer on a low speed. And the reason I'm saying that is if you set it up on a timer where, let's say, you can have five minutes running, five minutes off, okay? I don't know if they make pin timers in DC. I know they make pin timers in AC. And that's set up uh, on a 24-hour clock, the AC uh, pin timer. And you can set it 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off, okay? If you can find a DC timer like that and set it up, set the fan so it uh, will operate for 15 minutes, shut down for 15, uh, and then turn back on 15 minutes later, that would be good because what you'd be doing at that point, you'd be giving that exhaust pipe a chance to reheat, okay? And get boosted up, and then initially you'll be sending a good blast of hot air into the room. Uh, and that would help, you know, that would help uh, heat the area that you're trying to heat. But again, people, I'm leading toward the first test that I did where I had the, uh, what did I do with them parts? I had the elbow set up here, you know, and then I had the duct going into the elbow and pushing the air coming out of the heater across there. Uh, and again, people, remember, we took our reading of 180 here with that short run of duct, okay? Uh, so we're losing, we're losing uh, uh, temperature just on that little short run and that little bit of resistance there. So, and that, that resistance is equal to what I'm going to have here, almost, okay? So again, people, my personal opinion, um, I think I'm going to lean toward going with my first setup and use the heater, push the heater air through that dock, increase the temperature, let it come out of here at 202 degrees, uh, and pick up all that radiant heat. I think I'm better off that way. But that's about it, people. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know what else I can do here to, uh, you know, try to harness that heat from the exhaust pipe. If anybody has an idea out there, hey, put it in the comment box. I'm open. I'm an open-minded person and willing to, to listen to people's ideas. And if I deem it worth its effort, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Uh, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to do too much testing, people, because you know I've already burnt through like 25 gallons of fuel, although it was combined heating and testing. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, diesel prices are going up. Okay. Fact is, I'm thinking about going down and getting another 20 gallons now and paying the 580 uh, that it's at. I was hoping it'd go down, but I don't think it's going down. I think it's going to just keep increasing uh, because we do have a diesel shortage. Once again, yeah, you know, man, this, I'll tell you what, they, what, a, what a state this world is in. Un unbelievable what these, what our leaders and our big business is doing to this world. Unbelievable, you know. One day the people are just going to stand up and, and come against it all. Uh, and I'm waiting for that day to happen. Uh, you're going to have anarchy and chaos like you've never seen before if this don't start to simmer down. Because I, everybody I talk to is really fed up. They've had it right up to their throats. And I can tell you another thing too, people. If Biden runs uh, in 2024, he's not going to win that election. Uh, far from it. He's not. My personal opinion, and I'm not Democrat. Uh, I'm, I'm not uh, sided for Democrats or Republican, okay? I, I want the best person uh, in that office that's capable of running our country and looking out for the benefit of the people. Uh, but I'm going to tell you something. that Mr. Biden does not belong in that office right now, okay? He's not competent enough. I don't know who's running this country, but I can tell you now, he's not, okay? So, my personal opinion, people, I know I'm going to get a lot of disagreement with that, uh, but that's okay. That's where I stand, and everybody's entitled to their opinions. They're like buttholes. Everybody has one. You know what I mean? So I'm just, you know, I just get frustrated, people, you know, because you, you, the hardworking people of America, you are the bloodline to this country. Without you, we don't have a country. Okay, period. Everything you do and everything, every effort you put in 
in your daily routine going to work keeps this country going. It supports the economy. And it, this country is in such a damn mess, I just cannot believe what is going on. I am 66 years old, people, and I don't mind telling you, this is the worst state I've seen our country in. And not only our country, but the entire globe. Anyway, people, I leave you with this once again, okay? I want you to stay safe out there, okay? And I want you to stay healthy and happy. Stay warm this winter, but do that safely. God bless. Bye-bye now.